Hey, it's Paul Browning here. I wanted to discuss the new CompTIA Network Plus exam. This is actually due out this month, so this is September 2021. Now, I checked the website just now, and they haven't actually released the syllabus officially. I um, I was sent a link by somebody when I did some research to the syllabus, but it's not on their website. They don't have any information about it officially and um, it doesn't say when you can start testing for the exam. If you're currently studying for the Network Plus, don't worry because you can carry on. I think you've got until some point in 2022 to pass the 007. The new exam is the N10008. The previous exam was the N10007. So what I'm going to talk about is what's new, what's the same and what's gone. And um, this is all backed up. I had to write a long blog post. So the blog post, I'm going to put that in the description box so you can find it. But I've actually discussed in detail if you want to read through what I think you need to do. And I've added a few links. And most importantly, in the blog post, and if you go to howtonetwork.com and blog, you'll find it also. Uh, it's called Comptia Network Plus Objectives. Otherwise, the link in the description. Um, I've actually made a spreadsheet for your delight and delectation. And what I've done is I've got the N10007 and the N10008 and I've made a key. So blue, light blue, it stayed in. Uh, green, they've added or amended. So for example, like cable speeds, you, you'd know they're going to add the new uh, speeds for cable, any new uh, security protocols that have been improved on. Gray is what's been removed. So that's on the N10007 tab, which I'll go through in a minute. That stayed the same. So the blue and green stayed the same. And obviously on the N10008, I've marked in yellow what has either new or dramatically changed. Some things have really had a big rewrite. So in order to um, sort of qualify as something new, it has to have a lot more information in. Now, if it's something that's been added to, I've done my best um, to actually highlight the new stuff and I put it in a red uh, font. Now a couple of important things, uh, I've put it here. This syllabus is copyright CompTIA. So what I've done is taken the 007 and 008 and basically pasted it into these spreadsheets. Now these spreadsheets will be accessible via the blog post. I'm just waiting for the proofreader to finish and then I'll add this video and a clickable link to this spreadsheet so you can read it. The other important note is that um, this is my best effort so don't take this as the Bible, this is me having read things and, and carefully compared or contrasted everything but being a human being I may have missed something or um, CompTIA also reserve the right to tweak the syllabus as they go along and make changes so you really need to go to the CompTIA.org website and uh, download the syllabus uh, themselves. I don't know if they're actually marking the syllabus versions, you know, 1, 1.1 or 1.2 or whatever. But um, just check for the latest syllabus and obviously the best place is their website. So I'll um, I'll go through first and um, so green, uh, sorry, blue has stayed in. So things like the OSO model, OSI model, routing and the discussion of the routing protocols IP addressing you'd expect that to have stayed the same pretty much uh, topologies uh, frequencies for wireless one of the important thing which I'll refer to the blog is they've had a shuffle around for the syllabus um, headings so you can see here the N10007 domains networking fundamentals that stayed the same the second one is infrastructure for 007, but the second one now is called network implementations. And then operations have stayed the same, security stayed the same. Network troubleshooting and tools, it's just called network troubleshooting, although they're still testing you on tools. So that's just a change of the name, but not the content. All right, so um, all the blue things, and you can look at this yourself, I'm not going to read through every single thing, has stayed the same. Now the greens, these have been added to or amended, which I'll go to in a minute. The greys have been removed. So I'll just go through the greys. 
So not major things really. Z Wave and ANT Plus, uh, Bluetooth's gone. Um, security implications, plenum cables, stuff you um, have so it doesn't catch fire, or if, if it's if it catches fire, it's not so much of an issue. Um, FCOE, uh, iSCSI stayed in actually, so I needed to um, change that. But um, SCSI's come out, but iSCSI's still in. T1, ISDN, E1, that's out. I'll just scroll over here. Um, I'll check the hardware tools actually. I think that might have st may have stayed in actually, but by the time you check the syllabus, I'll have um, I'll have che I'll check that. So this is all the stuff that's in the N10007. If I pop over to the 008 here, so they stayed in the added twos. They've added a Cat8 cable. The new thing is the um, quad small form factor pluggable QSFP and QSFP plus has been added. A uh, Chrome and Bix, a uh, coarse wavelength division multiplexing, so CWDM dense wave division multiplexing. This is the IPv6 addressing. IPv6 is, uh, looks like it's been beefed up considerably, so you're going to need to do. Some extra reading for that. Um, Slack SLAAC stateless address auto configuration. So I think within that they're going to be including uh, EUI64 addressing, which you can look up in your own time. More on the IPv6 address types. So multicast, unicast, anycast. I think for IPv4 as well, actually, by the looks of it. Packet switch, switch versus um, circuit switched. A GRE has been added, uh, IPsec, uh, ESP also. This is to existing stuff because it's in the green. Um, added to all of the f a big long list of protocols and services you need to know, they've added server message block, uh, syslog. If you come to my blog actually, if you go to the if you go to blog and under technical, there's a, a long blog post I've put and a video in a lab on syslog you can look at. Uh, SMTP with TLS, lightweight directory access protocol, um, beefed up security for email, IMAP and POP3, SQL, uh, session initiation protocol. Desktop as a service is a new model added for cloud models. So I'm sure you've heard about platform as a service, software as a service, and infrastructure. A community deployment models for clouds. Uh, industrial control systems. I'm going to have to look, have a look at that myself. Uh, for Quas, we've got DisServe. Um, Cos has been removed. Now, uh, sorry, I'll carry on with the red first. Uh, Wi-Fi version six. I'll just have a look over here. Inbound and outbound management, Ob object uh, IDs for SNMP, a memorandum of understanding. So this is when you're onboarding employees. This is a new thing you need to know about. A high availability. Uh, I did actually did a blog post about this as well. So this was um, just a coincidence, but. Um, a first standby routing protocol. So you've got VRRP here. Uh, FHRP, so it, cl it could include HSRP and GLBP. Uh, you need to learn them just in case. Uh, lots of security has been beefed up, so phishing, tailgating, piggybacking, shoulder surfing has been added. Pre shared keys, a dynamic ARP inspection that's actually uh, features in the Cisco exams. And then moving down here, mm, TFTP, interesting. Um, this is under troubleshooting. Uh, multicast flooding, incorrect VLANs, DNS issues. So you're going to have to be doing a lot of configurations in order to uh, understand all this. So you can uh, read that. New or dramatically changed. I'll go through now. So this is the yellow. Uh, explain. Oh, yeah, corporate data center. So this is the data uh, center. 
uh, software defined ne networking but also the design how you design the networks so it's going to be um, spine and leaf this is the three layer model here uh, infrastructure layer traffic flows is a big thing so north south east and west a branch office uh, co-locations and then we're over to cloud concepts so auto automation orchestration VPNs and um, multi-tenancy elasticity scalability so a lot of stuff it looks like from the CompTIA cloud uh, certifications is bled over now WARP has got its own category so anything that's uh, it was listed under the uh, standard protocols and services but now it's in its own category so that's a clue that you're going to get tested to a deeper level on address resolution protocol uh, wireless channels regulations regulatory impacts uh, syslog and tra looking at logs um, again I've, I've got a blog post on that which will show you everything you want to know on how to network.com your links, your cyclic redundancy checks, byte counts, speed and duplex, CRCs, so this is problems on your interface and how to spot them, encapsulations, what are giants, what are runs, uh, temperature and humidity, uh, net flow data, that's interesting, that was in Cisco but has been taken away. So high availability, um, low balancing, multipathing, switching routers and firewalls for redundancy. A protocol data power distribution unit sorry HVAC fire suppression a state configuration then moving down to security the CIA model for security is brand new that's in the security plus I'm pretty sure internal external threats zero day least privilege role based zero trust and then risk management so looking at your vulnerability assessments and penetration testing a new one is IOT access I know they had IOT before but it's looking at network hardening techniques weird one here rollover and console cables so that wasn't in before although it's not a new thing power over Ethernet you need to start learning your commands so show interface show config and show route you uh, it doesn't say what platform you need to know them for so obviously depending on your platform you're going to have different outputs if it's um windows uh, you need to know your linux commands i guess as well uh, wireless you need to troubleshoot throughput speed distance um, relative signal strength indication so that's all the yellow stuff I just need to uh, double check on something about the hardware tool so I'll I might change the color the other thing is I've gone through in con uh, a lot of detail here in the syllabus I've said what's gone this is my blog post tweaks and additions uh, what's new I'll give you some advice if you're trying to work out which exam you should take some tips on how to pass but this is what I wanted to talk about was the uh, performance based questions so these have remained in and if you you can easily google I'll put it I'll put a link in the uh, in blog post but you need to um, google CompTIA PBQs and then look for network plus and it will come up with a sample question the, these are the exams that test you on the performance based questions this is from the CompTIA website so you got A plus CASP Cloud plus but obviously we're looking at the CompTIA network plus when you click on that it will pop up something like this and this is a uh, a network problem uh, you can click on the test question here and read it which you can do in your own time and then you can close that and basically you need to fix this problem you can show the question again if you want by looking um, at the device and it looks like you've got some configuration options as well so you can look at your IP address you can't click on these you can click on the router and uh, you can look at the access list and see um, accept or deny so you what I'm trying to say is you can't pass the exam without doing some hands-on stuff I'll flash up um, a book for um, a lab book that I wrote for the CompTIA Network Plus I'm going to flash mine up because I don't think anyone else has written one 
and yet it's weird because um, you need to have hands on. So it'll be 101 labs for the Compute Network Plus. I'll be updating it for the 008 exam. I'll be adding about 10 or 15 labs and taking a few out. And there's a 101labs.net website. So um, that's all I know for now. So now you know what I know. Please um, check out the blog post. As I said, the link's in the description. And that will give you access to this spreadsheet where you can uh, look for yourself. And then, by all means, take the 007 if, you've, um, if you want to. If you're only starting out, then you might want to aim for the 008, so you've got less pressure. And um, there's another link there telling you a bit about me and what I do. All right, so um, any questions, pop them down there, and I'll uh, do my best to answer them. Obviously, the best fresh information is on the CompTIA website. And, um, oh yeah, I'll put a link. We've got a... I've actually written... I'm going to put it down here, the new Network Plus, where we're actually written the first module for the uh, 008 exam. And um, I'm testing that now. So the first module is up. That's going to be full of labs, exams, and uh, video coaching for the new exam and for the 007 if you want to take that. All right. So um, I'll see you in the next video. All the best.